What is up y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Monique in case you are new here and today I have a really exciting video for you all. So we all know how powerful Canva actually is. You can do a lot of different things within this software. So today I'm going to show you the basic functions to get started editing your videos right in Canva all for free and I'll drop in some pro tips here and there as well but mostly this tutorial will be on the free version so that way everybody can easily access some of these resources. So let's go ahead and get into it. So of course I am starting off with the Canva app on my laptop, but you can go through the Canva site on your web browser and it'll look the exact same. Um, but I just find using the app makes things run a little bit faster. The first thing you want to do before you even get into editing the video is figuring out what type of video you are editing. Are you trying to make a TikTok or an Instagram reel? Are you trying to make a story? Are you trying to edit a YouTube video? Like what is it that you are editing so then you want to make sure that you work within those dimensions to begin editing your video so it can be uploaded to the proper platform so today for the purpose of this video we're going to edit a YouTube video so I'm just going to go right here into the search your content or you can go down here to the videos tab so I just want to show you how easy it is to just search what you're looking for and pull it up right away on Canva so let's type in YouTube video so it has all these different YouTube videos, intros, outros, things that you can add as transitions within your video. But I'm just gonna start with a blank um, template. So I'm gonna click this one right here. All right, y'all, so this is what things are looking like once you get into your template. Um, so I'm just going to start off with a basic video. And be so because I don't have any videos recorded personally, I need to edit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just grab a video from what's already in Canva. So I'm going to go to the left hand side and I'm going to scroll down to the videos tab. I'm just going to look up coffee shop. I just looked up coffee shop and I'm going to go ahead and choose this video right here. Whether you've already uploaded your video to your uploads or you're using a video out of Canva, um, all you do is just take your image or take your video and drag it over and then it will fill up the background. So there's multiple ways you can go ahead and begin to edit your video. Um, so say if you want to make the video shorter and snip a few pieces off, um, you could either click the scissors up top and it allows you to drag the footage or drag the tab to either shorten your video or make it longer. Then you just want to make sure you hit done. So now the video is 8.9 seconds. But instead of doing all of that, you could just drag the edge right here and say I don't want it to be that short, right? I want it to be a little bit longer. And you can go ahead and adjust the length of your clip down here as well. So the next thing I wanna do is let's get another video. So I'm just going to hit the plus button to add a page and you see how I have a blank page here. Again, same process, take the video, drag it, make sure that it fills the entire background if that is what you want. Um, so I want to make this a little bit shorter too. Let's do nine seconds. All right, y'all. So now that I have the second clip here, let's say I want to add a transition in between both videos. What I would do is if you hover in between the two clips, this plus button and then this add a transition button will appear. So you can either add another page to add another video in between these or you can add a transition. So I want to add a transition. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And so over here, it pops up all the different transitions that Canva offers. So it has dissolve slide, circle, color wipe, line wipe. I've never seen this one. I like that. Match and move, flow, stack, and then chop. I like I like dissolve. So I'm going to go ahead and do dissolve. And so Canva gives you the option to kind of edit the duration settings. So this means how long the transition will last in between both clips. So another cool thing I would like to show y'all is this little arrow right here. So say if I just want to see where the transition happens, as you see, the transition is now in purple from where it'll start on the first clip to where it'll end on the second. I'm going to drag this and then hit play and it'll start at the end of the clip 
and that is the transition the transition is a little bit long for my liking but again I'm this is just an example so um, I would tell y'all to go ahead and play with it um, play around in Canva to figure out which transition really will make your work stand out one thing I really like and that I've learned from being on the TikTok platform is to switch up your transitions, right? Every two clips don't have to have the same exact transition. Switch it up, you know, it gives the viewer something different to look at um, and that keeps them a little bit more engaged for a little bit longer. So that's just a helpful tip. All right, y'all. So let's say I want to add some text onto my screen. So you can either hit the T button on your keyboard to pull up a text box, or we can go back over here on the left hand side and scroll up and then click on text and add a text box. Whichever is your preference, I like to just go ahead and hit the T. Um, all right, so my text box is now pulled up. I'm gonna go ahead and just up the font so we can be able to see what we're looking at. Um, so let's say I want to add some text. So let's say welcome to my shop. And I want everything to be aligned to the left. So let's do this. I wanna go up here to alignment. Then I'm just going to click that so everything is on the left hand side. And so this font kind of blends in with the background. So I'm just going to change my font to something a little bit bolder. Um, what does wedges look like? No. I like this. So let's just open it up just a little bit. All right. So let's change the color to something that will stand out a little bit more. Welcome to my shop. I'm going to go up here and click the spacing button and I'm going to go down here to the line spacing just so that everything is kind of nice and compact. So I'm going to go to effects, maybe add a little shadow just so my um, letters stand up off the page. There we go. I like that. So, all right, so we have some text that we added. And again, you already know Canva has these uh, prepared fonts um, that already are designed and color matched. So you don't have to do all this work. You can really just go over here and choose one of the font combinations. So here's the font that I created. And let's say we want to go ahead and add some animation to this text, right? We don't want it to just be stagnant, let it sit there. We want to add some character to it. So I'm going to go over, I'm going to click on the text I just put onto my screen. And in the top right hand corner, it's going to say animate. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And from here, you can do rise, pan, fade, pop. There's so many. Mm. I like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the ascend. Let's see what merge looks like. Actually, I like that. And so when you find the animation that you want for your text, you can either animate it on the entry, on the exit, or you can do it on both. And then the same thing, the intensity. I do believe that this, because of the crown, is only offered to Canva Pro users. So you can only play around with like the intensity of it. And I'll turn it all the way up just so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, and then I'll turn it all the way down. Not really much of a difference if you ask me, um, but this option is only offered to Canva Pro to kind of adjust it. But you can use the text animation on both the entering and the exiting of the actual video. So I'm gonna put both. All right, so same thing. I wanna drag my little arrow all the way back to the beginning. Then I'm gonna hit play. I like that. Okay, so one thing I will say is that this clip is extremely long. So no matter what, right, we've already added our transition, we've already added text. Even if we go back into the video and make it a lot shorter, what we have applied to the video will remain true. So the transition will still start when it needs to start. Even though the video is shorter, it just means that it'll come on a lot sooner. There we go. 
All right, y'all. Um, so the next thing I want to show you is, say if you have a clip and you're talking, um, or you just want to, again, take a little small portion out of the clip, but you don't want to disregard the whole entire clip. That entire process of chopping up one specific video or one specific clip is called splitting a clip or splitting a video. So in order to split a video, I'm going to easily show you, you just want to drag it to wherever you want it to be. Um, it's a lot easier too if you're editing a voiceover and you want to say you messed up on a sentence and you just want to take that sentence out and continue on with the video. Um, all you would need to do on your keyboard is hit the S button and then it splits it up and then what you can do is just drag it and edit to where you want to remove it hit split one more time and so now you have this clip in between the start and the end of that one entire clip <laughs> hopefully i'm making sense y'all um so what you would do from here is just take this and then hit the delete button on your keyboard and now you have two separate clips and then you can do the same thing let's add another transition just so we can kind of play around with it and so right now I chose the color wipe. Um, I don't really like the yellow. I wonder, okay. So let's do the color wipe. You can choose the duration and the direction of where you want um, this wipe to happen. So I like, I like that. And then I'm gonna just say a little bit under a second. All right y'all, so let's go ahead and watch the video from the beginning. Welcome to my shop, okay. I like it. I like it. Another cool thing about Canva is that they already have so many designs already available for you. It takes the guessing work out of, you know, how to put together a template or how to put together a video. You can really just drag and drop. So what I'm going to do is use this one. This You do have to have a pro subscription to use this template, but there are hundreds of templates that are just like this, as you can see, that are not um, just for pro users. But yep, this is what some of the templates are looking like. And so you can easily go in here and just delete the videos. And I'm gonna put my name, cause why not? Um, and then the same thing, right? So you can either upload your videos that you would want to be included into this template, or you can just go back down to Canva's um, pre-made videos, click on the video tab. And so let's do, let's type in spa, cause that's, is, this is giving like a vlog type of vibe mm, let's type in self-care so same thing you just drag it and drop it if you want to edit your video um, so say you see her arms are a little bit cut off and some of the screen is cut off if you ever want to adjust the video um, so it is sized correctly into the actual frame that you're putting it into you'll just double click the video and it'll give you the option to crop it and so you can just drag it over drag it over and then it'll play. I mean, obviously you can't see anything cause it's just the corner, but yep. I'm going to realign that. So that way she is right in the center. I'm going to hit done. Then I'm going to do the same thing right here. Double click it and then just adjust it just a little. Then hit done. Then I'm just going to, for the last one, do the same thing, drag it. And I think that looks good the way it is. So again, I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to make this a lot smaller. Then I'm going to hit done. And then from here, you definitely have the liberty to change the colors, play around with the fonts. I like this in white and then maybe change my actual font to black. I don't know. I'm just playing with it at this point. Then I'm gonna go all the way to the end, make sure that everything is chopped up correctly. And so a cool thing about this is if you ever need to zoom in, you can zoom in as much as possible. But let's say you have a lot of little clips down here um and you're trying to look at a clip that's all the way like off the screen to the right you'll just hit this button right here and it'll click from zoom the page to zoom the thumbnails and so this way 
I can zoom in and I can edit and get as specific or as particular as I need to get. Um, that way it makes it easier to edit or if I don't need to look at everything on a micro scale, I can just zoom back out. Um, super easy, super simple. A lot of the same ways to edit a video within Canva is pretty similar to how you edit just any regular old template in Canva. And if you don't even know where to get started, I have a beginner's course on my YouTube channel. I'll make sure to have it linked somewhere on the screen or in my description box below. I definitely encourage you to go ahead and check that video out first, just so you have a good foundation as to what Canva is and how powerful and creative you can really get with Canva. Um, so make sure y'all check that video out so now let's talk about exporting exporting is a really big part of video editing because a lot of your quality can be lost if you don't do a certain step or don't take a certain precaution when exporting your video to the platform that you're going to upload it to um, so right here you can click on share then what you're going to do is go to download and then you want to make sure that your file type is an mp4 and so you can turn your quality all the way up to 4K, but you can only do that if you have a Canva Pro subscription. Usually most platforms like YouTube and TikTok, you only need HD, which is 1080p, and that will be fine. Um, if you want to just save one clip, you can just download one page. Um, but for me personally, I want the entire video, so I'm going to do all of the pages and leave everything selected. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit download. All right, y'all, so here is the final product. Thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end. This is just one of many videos coming on how to edit videos in Canva because y'all, it gets deep, it gets real, and I wanna share everything, but I don't wanna make the videos too lengthy. So make sure you go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you later.